Good evening, crafters. I'm here to um, share with you a project share. Now, I have not been on YouTube for quite a while. I got very ill for about three months. And then once I got better, I couldn't quite get my mojo crafting again. And then I decided to step it up and join a swamp, a swap. <laughs> A little bit bigger than I'm used to. I'm used to doing memory decks cards and um, those pocket pocket letters, letter pockets. And um, that's all I've ever done. And I've never sewn on a project before. And this one I had to sew. So let me share it with you. It's a summertime swap. And my theme is watermelon, as you can see. This is my bag I put it in. And then, here is all the goodies inside. I made a tassel dangle with some beads and some ribbon. I don't know if you can see all of the tassel but goes quite far. And I put beads around. I put watermelon and some flip-flops and some sunglasses. And I think, oh, and a bee. I put a bee on there for summertime. And then I found these coin purses, these watermelon coin purses at Amazon. And I thought they'd be so cute to go with this. And inside, I've got a box of watermelon shaker mix for shakers in this little box. And I have watermelon lip balm, which I thought would be so much fun. And then we were required to make an acetate folder. And it needed to be sewn. And it needed to have a shaker mix in it. So this is my first project I've ever sewn on. But I did it and I absolutely enjoyed it. I love sewing on the paper. It was so much fun. But let me tell you a little bit about this. This is a, I got the watermelon paper at Amazon and it was just an off brand. And then this little watermelon here is a Lawn Fawn die. And this heart right here is a Scrap Diva Designs die. And the daisy came from um, Hobby Lobby. And then I just took some paper and bunched it up and so so sewed it. And this is my little cluster, this little bent on my folder. And then I open it. And you will find I have a decorated mini envelope. And in this mini envelope, I have tea. I have watermelon tea. You see if I can get this back together. And you just fold it up real easy. And I have a lemon tea. This is really dark. Let's see if I can get this one back together. This one, over that one, and that one. And then I need to get this one over that one. There we go. No, not yet. Well, how does this go? This has to be over here. And this has to be over there. No, that one under. And this one on top. There we go. Okay. And then the third one is just another watermelon tea inside and I've kind of scuffed it up a little bit folding them but this was a fun project to do I got 
the idea to do this envelope off of YouTube, and I can't remember who showed it, but they did a tutorial on it, and it was so easy to follow, and I really enjoyed making it. And then this, the front part of it, this stamp that says Cup Positivity, is a Diane Markham stamp from her Recipe Stamp Club. And then I just put some flat bags, a watermelon and a lemon and a flower. And then these bows I get off Amazon. And that's how I decorated my mini album. And then, let me show you, this is not in the package, but this was my memory Dex card. And I put some daisies on here. And this is a Lawn Fawn Dye the Sun with a shaker mix in it. I got the Little Sun from AliExpress. I got the wooden um, flip-flops off Amazon. They have wooden little things to hang for almost anything. And they had one on watermelon. So I was real lucky to get that. And then here's one of those bows I get from Amazon too. And I got the glasses from Buttons Galore is where I got those. And I had a really good time making that. The next thing I made was a rosette, a hanging rosette with a little tassel at the bottom. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this, let me know and I'll show you how I made it. But the flower here is just made out of... Uh, a paper punch. If I can show it very easily. And it just has a little butterfly punch on top and a circle and a gem. And then I put glossy accents on the middle to make it pop up a little bit. And then this watermelon behind here is some of those watermelons I got off of Amazon with the same package as the flip-flops. And the daisy is off of some trim I got from Amazon. And the little girl is a digital stamp I found on Etsy. And I just fell in love with her. I think she's so cute. The butterfly is from Rosie Studios. And then these little sunbursts are simply coffee stirs that I thought would look cute, really cute on the rosette. And the rosette dye is from Tonic Studio. And then the little uh, circle behind it is from Tonic Studio. And then this is just a circle with a beveled edge. And there's some ribbon to hang it from. And I just, I just had so much fun making this rosette. And that's it. And then in there, I put some watermelon socks. And I put some watermelon iPads I thought were so cool. It's so fun to do themes, and you can find things on Amazon to go with that theme. But I really enjoyed making this. And um, the, I'm going to post this for Saturday morning, make, Saturday morning Makes. Because this is what I've been working on for about three weeks now. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me share one more thing I've made with you before we go. I saw on Crafty Crafts with Dina, she showed us, showed us some carrots that she had sewn for one of her swap partners. So I watched her video and I kind of changed it just a little bit. But I made the carrots and did some shredded fabric up here. And this, all the fabric and everything, the ribbon and everything is from the Hobby Lobby. Except for my heart right here is from Amazon. And so is my little sunflower. But those are my take on a sewn carrots and I thought they turned out so much fun. Anyway, that's all I have to share with you today and I hope you enjoyed my video and hopefully I'll see you next Saturday. 
Thank you. Bye.